the technique is carried out with a thumb and index finger. This exercise is especially useful in the morning, when you just woke up and have a wrinkled face after a good night's sleep. This massage can be applied to any part of your face, especially around your eyes. We are going to use a thumb and an index finger to grind the crease between the fingers. Find a wrinkle to work with and place it between your fingers. Start rubbing your fingers against each other. For deeper, long-standing creases, you can grab more tissue and for small, tiny wrinkles, you can do superficial grinding. This technique improves skin turgor, instantly bringing blood to the area and smoothes the wrinkles. Do the exercise for 30 seconds on each part of your face that needs attention. Get ready to stretch the crow's feet wrinkles sideways. Bring your right hand behind the head to your left eyebrow. Place your fingers on the crow's feet wrinkles. Place the fingers of your left hand just below the outer corner of the eye, in front of the air. Hold the position for 10 seconds. Let the pads of your fingers penetrate into the skin and warm it up. Then, start a deep, slow stretch of the orbicularis oculi muscle sideways and outward, as if removing the muscle from the eye socket. The skin around the eyes is very tender, so try to do the stretch slowly and deeply, stretching the muscle out, not the skin. If you feel that there is not enough friction, Put a drop of oil or eye serum on the skin around your eyes. Repeat the exercise three times on each side. This technique allows you to diminish the crow's feet wrinkles and open your eyes wide. Make a V-form from your index and middle finger. Place it on your eyebrow and cheekbone and stretch the skin in between. Hold the position with one hand and with the other one, place your two pointing fingers on the outer corner of the eye. Slowly begin to pull the orbicularis oculi muscle out towards your ears. We are going to pull this muscle horizontally and diagonally up and down. Keep in mind that we are working on a deeper level structure with muscle fibers, not with the skin. By pulling the sphincter muscle out, you are placing it to its natural position and open your eyes wide. As a result, crow's feet wrinkles diminish in size and soft tissues around the eyes become polished. Repeat the sequence three times on each side.
We are going to work with a pressure point next to your nose. Relax your neck and tilt your head a little bit forward. Place your index and middle fingers on your cheekbone close to your nose, under your eyes. Pads of your fingers penetrate into the skin. Compress the tissue against the cheekbone and hold the position for 10 seconds. When you finish with compression, start doing deep circular motions outwards from your nose. Pay attention to do the circles outwards. You should be drilling into the skin, going deep into the tissue. This technique helps remove extra fluids from the connective tissues around your eyes and improve circulation in this area. Do it at your comfortable speed and depth for 20 seconds. Do not push too hard, it can cause edema. Pat the area when you finish. Prepare your thumb and index finger knuckles to compress and massage the muscles along the cheekbone. Relax your neck and begin to compress the soft tissues next to your nose. Stroke all the way along your cheekbone to your ears. The muscles in this reach can be very painful and tight. Repeat the strokes from the center to the sides for one minute and you will ease tension in the muscle just in a few days. In addition, massaging the zygomatic arch will allow you to smile wider and remove muscle restrictions around your nose. This exercise should be performed by the ocular muscles of your eyes. Sit straight and start to open your eyes as wide as possible. Pay attention to your eyebrows. Relax them and try not to raise them at all. You should open your eyes so wide to see the iris and the white border around your iris. Blink very slowly while widening the eyes. This exercise helps to open your eyes wide, reverse chronic squinting strain and blinking reflex, and let your ocular muscles rest. The technique will reset your eyes to a wider position, remove nervousness and long-term tension from your eyes, and finally re-educate your ocular muscles to a new healthy habit. Perform the exercise for at least one minute. going to train the ocular muscle of your eyes to a new, wider position. Open your eyes wide and roll them slowly as high as possible. Hold this position for 3 seconds. Relax your brows. Now look to your right side as far as possible and hold the posture for 3 seconds. Then look down, widening your eyes again to the maximum for three seconds. And finally, bring your eyes to your left side, widening your eyes while holding, and back to the upward position. Try to look to the farthest sides of your visual field in all directions, as it widens your eyes immensely. Repeat the sequence in a clockwise and counterclockwise direction three times. This practice helps to relieve tension from the upper and lower eyelids, reset your eyes to a wider position, stop the orbicularis ocular muscle from contracting, and improve the general health of your eyes. You will feel that your eyes sparkle again 
and look friendly, healthy and happy. We are going to work along the sides of your nose and perform a nose drainage with your fingertips. A gentle yet powerful technique that consists of slow and delicate repetitive movements. Open your mouth, pull your lips in and relax your nostrils. Place your index fingers next to your nostrils, penetrate into the skin and start a slow vibrating movement toward the inner corner of your eyes. Sniff a couple of times through your nose while vibrating. Thus, you will help drain the lymph from this part of your face. When you reach the corner of your eye, pump three times very gently and slide back to your nostrils, slowly and deeply stretching the nasalis muscle. This technique can be used to release sinus congestion and improve waste drainage from the connective tissues of your face. Repeat this exercise three times. to compress the lateral sides of the nose with index finger knuckles. Tilt your head down a little and relax your neck. Take the second knuckles of your four fingers, curve them and put them to the labial side of your nose, the place between your nose and your cheeks. You want to compress the levator labia superiori muscle. In order to penetrate deeper into the muscle, you can twist your knuckles deep inside drilling into the skin. Use the weight of your head to compress the muscle. Hold the position for 20 seconds. Breathe diaphragmatically to release the tension and get through the pain. Now, keeping the same hold, move your fingers sideways just a little bit to stretch the muscle. Hold the position for 10 seconds and release. Pat the area to soothe the skin when you finish. This exercise breaks cellular adhesions between the muscles and tendons along the lateral part of the nose. It frees lateral clamps, remodels the nose shape and enhances lymphatic drainage of the face. going to lift the soft tissues of the eyes with fingertips. Place your left hand on your right temple and lift the tissue up. Put your right hand fingertips on your cheekbone under your eyes and penetrate into the skin. Compress the tissue against the cheekbone and gently start deep circular motions towards the temples. Penetration should be deep enough not to stretch the skin but work deeply with the muscle fibers. Feel the belly of the muscle stretch and give your eyes a fantastic lift. If your neck is tense, place your right elbow to the table and do the exercise at the table. If friction is difficult, try to apply little vibrating motions to move through the muscle easily. You don't need to hurry. Move through the muscle at your comfortable speed and depth for 30 seconds. Repeat the same sequence on the other side. Do not push too hard 
it can cause edema. This technique helps to remove extra fluids from the connective tissues of the orbital zone, improve circulation in this area, and give your eyes an instant lift. going to compress the auricular muscles. Make a V-shape from your index and middle fingers. Others' fingers should be clenched into fists. Put them beneath your ears. Place your ears into your fingers. Melt into the skin beneath your ears and start a deep, slow motion upwards. We are working with the muscle, not with the skin. The friction should be deep. You want to compress every millimeter of the tissue. If you don't feel comfortable, you may change the fingers and do the same with the middle and ring finger. This exercise enhances blood flow in the parotid lymph nodes, restoring its functions, improves blood circulation to your face, smooths wrinkles in the ears, provides an aesthetic effect of face lifting, and finally improves skin complexion. This is an easy and effective exercise that can be performed anytime, anywhere. to relax the orbital zone with the palms. Sit straight or lie down in a relaxed position and begin rubbing your hands together vigorously. Feel the heat that is generated, particularly in the palms of your hands. Continue to rub for a few moments and then slowly move your palms towards your eye sockets. Cover your eyes with the heels of your hands gently for a couple of seconds. Now, begin very soft circular motions outwards from your nose. Do the circles 15 times and stop. Then, melt into your eye sockets with your palms, breathe deeply and slowly. Enjoy the process. The warmth of your palm relaxes the tight orbicularis oculi muscles around your eyes and helps ease tension in the eyes. You can do this practice for a couple of minutes. This is a very relaxing exercise and best used before bedtime. It relaxes the orbicular zone and prepares your nervous system to fall asleep momentarily. Prepare to work with the lateral sides of your neck. Take your hands to make them into knuckles and start stroking up and down along the sides of your neck, increasing the pressure when you stroke down and releasing the pressure when you stroke up. Make your stroke nice and smooth. You can massage the back side of your neck this way as well as the lateral side of your neck. Pay attention to avoid the frontal area of the neck where the thyroid gland is located. 
This is a great practice to release tension in platysma, smooth the wrinkles on your neck and perform manual lymphatic drainage of the face. Get ready to practice breathing techniques. It will prepare you for myofascial release exercises and help you get through the exercises easily and more effectively. Sit or stand in a comfortable body position. Place your hand in front of your face and begin inhales and exhales. Time your in-breath to last 4 seconds and out-breath to last 6 seconds. Your hand controls that you pushed all the air from your lungs completely. Enjoy the process. Breathe deeply, slowly and smoothly and let the air flow into your lungs and enrich your brain cells and all body cells with oxygen they need. Continue to breathe with this pattern for one minute, gradually increasing the time and breathing volume. Check the number of breathing rounds. It should not be more than 8 rounds per minute. If it is 6 to 8 rounds, it is very good diaphragmatic breathing. If it starts from 10 breaths per minute and more, you are breathing shallowly, involving only 10% of your diaphragm. You should start controlling your breathing pattern. It can be difficult and uncomfortable at the very beginning, but your breathing muscles will get used to it and your diaphragm will become stronger with the time. Continue this practice until you get tired and watch how this makes you feel. The key is to breathe with maximum activation of the diaphragm. Breathing slowly, smoothly and deeply on long intervals teaches diaphragm to contract evenly and increases diaphragmatic strength and range of motion. This technique helps rehabilitate the damage from long-term stress, insert regular breathing patterns into your daily habits, improve neurological state, support resting and healing division of your nervous system, and make you aware of shallow distressed breathing. This is one of the most important changes you can make in your life. Get a breath of fresh air and experience more energy, increased confidence, and most important, resist stress and anxiety on a daily basis whenever you need it. And you will always look great, confident, and beautiful. We are going to perform lymphatic stimulation in the clavicular zone. Hunch your shoulders a little and find supraclavicular fossa above your clavicles. Place your palm edge on the supraclavicular fossa and begin a series of pumping movements. Make a deep, long inhale and begin pumping on the exhale. Make at least seven pumps in a row. Your exhale should be longer than inhale. Time your in-breath to last four seconds and your out-breath to last seven seconds. Repeat the sequence three times. We are going to pump subclavian nodes. Find infraclavicular fossa and begin a series of pumping movements. Make a deep, long inhale and begin pumping on the exhale. Your exhale should be longer than inhale. Make at least seven pumps in a row. Repeat the sequence three times on both sides. This technique allows stimulation of lymph outflow by means of contraction of pectoral muscles. Correct breathing pattern helps contract muscles more efficiently and push excess fluid to the lymph nodes. Time your in-breaths to last 4 seconds and your out-breaths to last 7 seconds. This is a very powerful technique to provide lymphatic drainage stimulation in clavicular lymph nodes and the entire body and face. You should keep in mind 
that it is safe to work with a completely healthy lymphatic system. If your lymph nodes are painful or you can pop a small pea-like node, make sure to consult with your doctor as soon as possible. When you work with this area, the aching feeling should be pleasant. Sometimes the lymphatic system is overloaded and you can feel that it is swollen. Keep on doing these exercises and you will drain puffy swollen eyes and face, improve general lymphostasis symptoms and your clavicle and shoulders will become more prominent. It is recommended to practice this lymphatic drainage anytime in the morning or during the day, but not before bedtime. Allow at least two hours before bedtime because lymphatic circulation slows down at night. Music